Week one of college football kicked off last night with two FBS games, but for the rest of the country, the action heats up Thursday night with 16 games. Now the Texas Longhorns are ranked 10th in the AP preseason poll. The Horns were 10 and 4 last year with a 7 and 2 Big 12 conference record, which was second to Oklahoma. They finished last year with a win versus Georgia in the Sugar Bowl. Sam Ellinger is looking for bigger and better, but he's going to need help from his running backs. And there's a lack of depth if Keontae Ingram is missing in action after hurting his knee in a scrimmage. And one of those players stepping up would be freshman Jordan Whittington from Cuero. We believe that Keontae is going to be back. You know, we feel like if Keontae's back, you know, with him, Jordan, and Daniel, you know, that's that's a pretty good, you know, threesome, and you, you can survive. But if not, we, we might need to, you know, teach Jake Smith a, a couple plays here and there, or something to get you get you out of game out of a game. Jake Smith is a six-foot freshman wide receiver that could be thrown into the mix, and that will be needed since Daniel Young suffered a high ankle sprain last week. But the Horns also have Mason Ramirez, a walk-on who has impressed the coaches so much he was placed on scholarship on Monday. Mason has transitioned from safety to running back to help with that depth at that position. Now the Horns open Saturday at home with La Tech. Turning out of College Station, where the Aggies yet again have one tough SEC schedule. The Maroon and White went 9-4 and four overall last season with a 5-3 and three conference record behind Alabama. They finished the season with a win versus NC State in the Gator Bowl. Aggies are looking for more success under second-year head coach Jimbo Fisher and former Reagan star Kellen Mond, who was recently added to the Manning Award watch list for the top QB in the nation. Um, just kind of one of the biggest things, you know, just play with conviction and, you know, um, you know, I understand we're going to make mistakes, but, you know, if we're playing with conviction, uh, I feel like some of those mistakes will, you know, kind of go somewhere else, but um, I just want to go out there and, you know, have a clean game and execute to the best of our ability. It's going to be a lot of fun and um, for us being a kind of an early game, uh, I think it's going to be really exciting too. The Aggies are ranked 12th in the AP preseason poll. Their first opponent will be Texas State Bobcats. They had a pretty rough season, finishing 3-9 and nine and winning only one Sun Belt Conference game. Jake Spavadol is a new head coach, and helping turn things around could be former MacArthur standout Tyler Vitt. The sophomore saw some playing time last season and is competing for the starting quarterback role. Great football in the Sun Belt, no doubt about it. All the teams are good, good defenses for sure, and it's been fun. Uh, I definitely think that the experience I had last year is really going to help me this year, so we're really excited to go play in the Sun Belt and just, just go do what we do and hopefully get a conference championship coming up. Vitt started five and nine games. He played in as a freshman. He finished with 1,159 yards, passing through seven touchdowns, rushed for 237 yards, and ran in for two more scores in 2018. And it was announced Friday that Vitt will start a QB on Thursday. After their game with the Aggies, the Bobcats will play their home opener Saturday, September 7th against Wyoming at Bobcats Stadium. It's been the talk of the summer in local college football. The first ever head-to-head -head battle between the UTSA Roadrunners and the Incarnate Word Cardinals. It's the hometown showdown featuring our Division I college football teams. UTSA wants to handle their business and improve on that 3-9 overall record they had last season. Two of those three wins were against Conference USA opponents, and they finished the season with six straight losses. If they don't want the same thing to happen, they have to start the season off on a better note. Success early is what we strive for, but anything, we're not going into this game thinking it's any differently. We're not going in with any any type of intentions. We have a common goal, and that's to win a championship. And unfortunately, this is just a team that's in the way. So we're going to approach it every game. We're going to approach every game the same, and we're going to go out there and do our best and go out there and give them a show. Strong words for their first opponent, which are the Cardinals, who had a great 2018 campaign. They finished 6-5 and five overall, were 4-0 at home, won a share of the Southland Conference Championship, and made it to the FCS playoffs for the first time in school history. The Cardinals are not taking their foot off the gas. We're going to do some big stuff this year. It's going to be an exciting year, and uh, we're, you guys are going to continue to see UIW uh, nationally, and, um, and we've done that in recruiting. And uh, we've done that um, in the communities, and uh, we're working on some bigger things to put this name out there. But we're, we're really, really excited, and um, we're ready to prove the world. There will be a River Rally starting at 6.30 p.m. on Thursday featuring the teams, bands, cheerleaders, and more. Following that, there will be a rally at the Arneson River Theater at 7 p.m., which will feature a battle of the bands. So here is first games for some of the 
in-state teams, local teams as well. Texas State at Texas A&M, Thursday, 7.30 p.m. at Kyle Field. UIW at UTSA, Saturday, 5 p.m. at the Alamo Dome. La Tech at Texas, Saturday, 7 p.m. at Texas Memorial Stadium. And TLU is at Trinity on Thursday, but that's just a scrimmage.